case, so let's solve this problem. So to find the fifth term in the binomial expansion, and this is the formula for the binomial expansion, then from this given, so we have the first term equals 3x, and the second term, that's positive 2, then for n, n is the exponent, so we have 8, and for r, since we're looking for the fifth term in r, starts from 0, so for r, that's 5 minus 1, so r equals 4. Then to find now the fifth term using this given, and to this formula, so we have n choose r, so n is 8, then choose r, r is 4, then times the first term, so first term is 3x to the power n minus r, n is 8 minus r, r is 4, times the second term, so the second term is positive 2 to the power r to the power 4, then to simplify, so this 8 minus 4, this is equal to 4, and for the value for this 8, choose 4, so using the calculator to find the value for this 8, choose 4, so we have 8, then this in CR, so shift this in CR, then 4, so 8 choose 4, equals, so that's 70, then times, this 3 to the power 4, so 3 to the power 4, equals, then times, this 2 to the power 4, so 2 to the power 4, equals, so we have 90,720, so this is equal to 90,720, then we have x to the power 4, so x to the power 4, so this is now the fifth term in the binomial expansion, then for this given, and this formula, so we have the first term, that's 2x, and the second term, so negative 5y, then n is the exponent, that's 10, and for r, since we're looking for the seventh term, so 7 minus 1, then r equals 6, then to find now the seventh term, so we have the n, c, r, so n is 10, choose r, r is 6, times the first term, that's 2x to the power n minus r, so 10 minus r, r is 6, then times the second term, so negative 5y to the power r, and r is 6, then to simplify, so this 10 minus 6, that's equal to 4, and for this 10, choose 6, so using calculator to find the value for this 10, choose 6, so we have 10, then this in CR, choose 6, equals, that's 210, then times, this 2 to the power 4, so times 2 to the power 4 equals then times this negative 5 to the power 6. So if the number is negative, we need to put that inside the parenthesis. So negative 5 inside the parenthesis, then to the power 6 equals... So this is equal to 52,500,000. So this is 52,500,000. Then for the variables, x to the power 4. 
and y to the power 6. So this is now the seventh term in the binomial expansion. Then for is given, so we have the first term, that's 4x squared. Then the second term, negative 2y, then n is the exponent, that's 11. Then for r, since we're looking for the 9 term, so r, that's 9 minus 1, so r equals 8. Then to find now the 9 term, so from this formula, and cr, so that's 11, choose 8, times the first term, 4x squared to the power n, n is 11 minus r, so 8, then times the second term, that's negative 2y to the power r, r is 8, then to simplify, so this 11 minus 8, this is equal to 3. And for this 11, choose 8. So we have 11, then choose 8, equals, that's 165, then times this 4 to the power 3. So 4 to the power 3 equals, then times, this negative 2 to the power 8. So since negative, so put inside the parenthesis, then to the power 8 equals, so this is 2,703,360. So we have 2,703,360. Then for the variable, so we have x squared to the power 3, so multiply this 2 times 3, that's 6, so this is x to the power 6, then for y to the power 8, so y to the power 8. So this is now the 9th term in the binomial expansion.